hey, good morning. It's great to be with you. Um, do you remember only a couple of months ago, the big message was hashtag be kind. And for a little time there, uh, people were being really kind about each other and they were being really kind to each other. And it was really nice. But what I've noticed, and I suspect you've noticed it too, that we seem to have moved on from that message. I've seen it in the reporting in the news and on social media. And I've seen it even as people come out of lockdown um, the restrictions are lifted slightly, how people are out enjoying their freedom, which is lovely, but maybe taking their freedom too far and not necessarily considering how their freedom might affect somebody else's health or, or lives. And it's almost like we've moved on from that message of being kind to, to something else, you know, and, it, and, and this week, you know, particularly seeing some of the scenes on the news has been tragic to see the way that, the, that one human can treat another. And I've been reflecting a little bit on watching people's behaviour and thinking about this kind of, we seem to have forgotten about being kind. And I have a little theory about it. I think that maybe that we can tell ourselves and try really hard to be kind for a while and maybe other people can tell us how to live for a while and we can kind of try really hard and do it. But when, you know, when we run out of our own resource of kindness and love, we kind of, we, we can't do it anymore. And we kind of, we kind of forget and we kind of move on. And I think, you know, I, I think that we need to be changed from the inside out, that we need to be able to be kind genuinely from the heart because we've been changed from the inside out and we, we can live uh, in the kindness of God. You know, the Bible talks about that when, when Jesus comes, that we will be given a new heart and that God will give us a new heart and that that his spirit working inside us will change us from the inside out so that we can live and genuinely live out the message of, of the Bible and the message of God, which is always to be kind to one another, to love one another. And in, in Galatians, Paul, he talks about this big battle between the flesh and living by the spirit and whether we live under the law, which tells us what to do and how to live and whether we can do that or whether we live in the spirit. And I just want to share these few verses with you in Galatians 5 verse 13. It says, you, my brothers, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge in the sinful nature, rather serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command commandment. Love your neighbour as yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. I just want to read that again. It's so relevant for today. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. You know, brothers and sisters in Christ, we have the spirit of God inside us. We have the kindness and love of God inside us and he is making us more like Jesus. I want to encourage us. I want to encourage us as we watch the news and as we see what's happening and we, we read a post on social media, I want to encourage us before we do anything, speak to God about how we're feeling about that. Talk to him about that situation. Pray for those situations and for those messages and ask God how he sees them. Ask God what he wants you to do about them. Don't just kind of just go along with the crowd or the, the popular opinion. You know, be kind is not a hashtag. It was not invented on the internet. It was born in the heart of God and it is written in the word of God. And it is eternal truth for us that we are kind. We are kind with our words. We are kind with our attitudes and we are called to be kind with our, with our actions. And I want to encourage us, brothers and sisters in Christ, to view the world from his eyes and to take everything first to him in prayer.
and I want us to hold on to kindness because we have the resource of heaven within us. God is love. There is no darkness in him. He is patient and kind and he can give us all we need. When we run out of our own resources, when we can't um, make ourselves be kind anymore, when we forget to be kind, he can be the spirit of God working inside of us, telling us um, how we can be kind to one another. This week we celebrated Pentecost, which is with the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. And you and I have the Holy Spirit inside us. We have the very breath of God in us to change us from the inside out. Let's pray. Lord God, I pray that you will help us to be kind. And I thank you for your kindness and goodness towards us. Lord, will you fill us with your spirit today and help us to be kind be kind in our actions, be kind in our words, and be kind in our thoughts to one another. Lord, we bring, we bring our lives towards you today. And Lord, we pray that you fill us with your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Go out and be kind today. <laughs>